Alright ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of ASA, the series where I answer your questions. Today we got a good number of questions, so let's get straight into it, starting with Burner Builds, and he says, What's one set you can't believe LEGO has made and hasn't made? Mmm, that's a good one. Um, I think my mind is just kind of like stuck in the 2021 sets. Um, so really, I'm going to say for the one that I can't believe that they did make was another Millennium Falcon micro fire. I can't believe there's three now. It's just absolutely crazy. It's like we don't need that many, um, especially micro fighters. And to not have one go with it, like either a Slave One or a Death Star or an Imperial Shuttle micro fighter, something to go with it just seems really kind of dumb, if you ask me. So um, <laughs> yeah. And then our next question comes from Random Internet Bot. And he says, what 2021 sets do you plan on snagging? All of them. I'm going to, I'm, I'm attempting to get all the Lego sets, obviously. Um, I'm not going to get like the UCS or the, um, MSB, um, just because I can't afford or really want those ones. They're just kind of too big anyways. Um, but I do plan on getting all the play sets. Um, so Yeah. Our next question comes from E.K. Starlord, and I have no idea what this means, but he says, What favorite part uh, about Bart Simpson? Mine is he's sensitive and also has a heart for people. So, like, what's my favorite part about Bart, I guess? Like, m trait? I, I, I like how he's kind of... Um, I, don't, I, I don't know what the word would be. I guess kind of like rude i i just like the way he like calls homer um homer and not dad and, and just is like always getting in trouble and tells the principal eat my shorts i just think that's funny um so yeah Our next question comes from ace gamer studios and he says do you think we'll get a re-release of the 20th anniversary slave one and a micro fighter for the book of boba fett i don't necessarily think we'll get a re-release of a, of the 20th anniversary slave one rather a new one with a new boba fett minifigure and maybe a fennec uh minifigure that would be really cool to see um i also would obviously love to see a slave one micro fighter that's never happened and that should happen because that would be really cool um however i don't think that'll happen for like a year after the show's been out because like Look how long it took to get a uh, Razor Crest after the Mandalorian first came out. So, although Lego has made Slave Ones before, so maybe they're already working on one and they can just update the minifigures. I don't know. We're going to find out, I guess, eventually, right? Um, it has been a while, I guess, like, what, three years? So if they wait until next year, it'll be four years since we've had a Slave One, so... I guess that's not pushing it, but because they'll have updated minifigures, people will probably like it. I don't know. We'll find out. <laughs> Our next question comes from Womai, and he says, what's your favorite lightsaber design? Um, so I don't know if, what you exactly mean by this. I'm going to assume you mean, you mean like whose lightsaber. So I'm going to say Darth Maul's like saber staffs. I really enjoy or really love saber staffs. I think they're cool. Um, just having two blades, like it's just very nice, but it also seems very dangerous because it's like double the chance of cutting your own limbs off, right? <laughs> Our next question comes from Jawa and he says, are you going to get the UCS gunship? Probably not because I think it's rumored to be like $300, 350 actually. Um, and it's not so much about the money, but more of the space. I don't really want to put or had to put that anywhere and I wouldn't want to build it review it and then like take it apart and put it back in the box because then that would just kind of be sad um so i'm probably not gonna get it but if it's like absolutely gorgeous and i get a chance to get it um for a decent price maybe like 20 percent off or something uh, i probably will knowing me so uh anyways our next question comes from esme king and he says out of the 2021 leaks so far which set is your favorite Honestly, I'm not entirely sure because they are just leaks, so we don't know what they are for 100% sure. But the $160 set sounds like um, it's potentially going to be some form of Imperial Star Destroyer playset um, from everyone. So I think I'm most excited for that because I would absolutely love to have an Imperial 
Star Destroyer playset because at this moment in time, I don't own one. So that would be absolutely amazing. Next question comes from Salty and he says, do you like the Separatists, the Empire, or the First Order worse to best? So worse to best is the First Order on the very bottom, the Separatists in the middle, and the Empire on the top. My allegiance is to the Empire, as many of you know. Our next question comes from Tree Man, and he says, Would you like to see a remake of the TIE Defender? Yeah, sure. There's always room for new TIE Fighters, TIE Defenders, TIE Bombers, you name it. In the LEGO community, in my opinion, there's always room for new ones, right? Um, so as long as they're not like Micro Fighters, because though I like Micro Fighters, those are always kind of dumb. Squidward. And our very last question of the day comes from the Rita and Skeeter, and he says, Do you plan on doing a mock or something for a video? Um, right now, probably not for a while, but I actually do have an idea for a mock, but I'm like, don't hold your breath, it's probably not going to happen for quite a while. Um, but so I do have an idea for a mock, and I think it would be really fun, and I think a lot of you would get a kick out of it, so... Um, we'll see what happens, but so that's going to do it for today's episode, so make sure you leave a like if you enjoyed, and also don't forget to comment a question or two down below. I will pin my favorite to the top, and until next time, have a fantastic day.